Hi friends, acromicroscopy has never been easier, right? Every time a question comes on acromicroscopy, we all tend to get so much puzzled. In this video, I'll try to discuss an EM image that actually came last year and the topic was ARDS. Before I discuss the acromicroscopic image, let's talk about how does a normal lung biopsy looks like from the alveolar level. If you look at this image, you can see it is all are round, round spaces. It is all round spaces are the AR sac spaces. I want you all to focus also on this area, this whole pink area are the vessels. So this is alveoli, this other alveoli, and between this area is a septum, and septum contains these vessels. So these vessels are the small capillaries. If I show this area in a more magnified manner, it will look like this. I want you all to have full attention. Okay? What happens is this area is the septum. Okay? And in the septum, there are the endothelial cells. Okay? That is a capris. So look at this capris here. As you can see, these all are the capris in the septal area. This is the air sac. This is the air sac. So the air sac actually is lined by a type 1 nemocyte. Okay? Lined by type 1 nemocytes. Between them will come the type 2. Look at this big cell. This actually is a type 2 nemocyte. This is what secretes the surfactant in the lungs. Now, type 1 nemocytes are the respective epithelial cells. They often are the squamous. Yes, they are squamous epithelial cells. Well, type 2 nemocytes, they release what? Surfactant. Now, I am now showing you the EM image. Now, see how easy it becomes. This actually is an air. Okay, this is an air sac. This again is an air sac. Now, look at this big area. This whole area is showing you a endothelium. Yes, why endothelium? Because this one is an RBC. Okay, this is the RBC. Now, because this is an RBC, so this whole thing becomes what? It becomes an endothelium. And those will be lined by the endothelial cells. And look, this layer here is a bechamel. Okay, this is a bechamel. Now, I want you all to focus here because this is what we going to be destroyed in the ARDS finding. I'm showing you one more image before I just actually move to the ARDS EM image. So look, this is the air sac. This is the air sac. And between them, this layer is what is actually the, it is the, Yes, endothelial layer in the septal area. Okay, so septa area, not septum, septa area. Now, see, this actually is a vessel. And vessel is what? This black one is what? It's a RBC. So, it's a, a RBC. Okay, so this cell here is what? It's an endothelial layer. Okay, this is a type 2 nemocytes. This big one is a type 2 nemocytes. It has surfactant inside it, lateral bodies. And this here is a type 1 nemocytes. So, type 1 nemocytes is this layer. There is each one of this cell, flat cell, not this big one. This big one is a vesbler cell. Show those two. Look at this one. This here, this one is a type 1 nemocyte. So this is a type 1 nemocyte. This is a type 2 nemocyte. This type 1 nemocyte will line the entire air sac. So actually, the air sac has this type 1 nemocytes and between them protrudes the type 2 nemocytes. This one air sac, this other air sac, between them is a septa and septa has endothelial cells. Now, this is my uh, user trust teaching of ARDS. What happens in ARDS is the etiologies, they stimulate the macrophage of the alveoli. Macrophage releases IL-18, which activates the end uh, neutrophils. Neutrophils will damage the endothelium. The endothelium activation and destruction, it was extrudes the fluids out of it. There is a uh, intentional edema. Then what happens in neutrophils enter the alveoli and releasing proteins and leukotrienes, they damage what? They damage the type 1 nemocytes. Because this type 1 nemocyte damage, the fluid must enter into the intestinal space can easily enter what? The alveoli and causing what? Alveolar edema. Now, what has happened during the entire process is it's a diffuse damage of the type 1 nemocytes, isn't it? It is called as diffuse alveolar damage. But along with the type 1 nemocyte damage, it is also a damage of? Yes, endothelium. You guessed correctly. Now, because the endothelial damage and type 1 nemocyte damage, there occurs rapid distress, there occurs the alveolar edema. But you must also understand here that type 2 nemocyte is intact and that is what proliferates and causes increased number of type 2 nemocytes. And the fibrin oozing out from here mixes with the type 1 nemocytes which is called damage and the entire thing is called as hyaluronic. So now you tell me what all will you expect in the EM image of ARDS? Won't you expect destroyed type 1 cells? Yes you would. Won't you expect increased number of type 2 nemocytes? Yes you would. And what do you expect this pink area of hyaline? Obviously, the EM will not show you a pink image, but it will show you something depositing there. Based on this knowledge, let's move to the actual slide. Look at here. Well, this is a low power magnification of as a high power magnification of the same thing. This whole pink area, see this pink area? This is what is the hyaline. It's a light microscopy. Now, 
comes the main image. This was the image being asked in this year's of NEET exam. What they wanted to ask you is the cells to identify here. First, with the cells. This EC is the erythrocyte. So this becomes what? It becomes a vessel, capri vessel. Now look at this one. This is the endothelial lining. The endothelial lining, this is the EN, endothelium. This, this type of light cell should be completely throughout the capris. Here, pull down a press. This whole thing should be this type of endothelium. Like here is there, this here one. But do you see anything after this? No, because the endothelial cell has got damaged. Now look at the type 1 cells. If you notice carefully, you see this cell here is a base membrane. Okay, it's a base membrane. Now, the type 1 nemocytes, which should be lining this area, this whole area should be lined by the type 1 nemocytes, is completely destroyed. You're not able to see the type 1 nemocytes. And therefore, you can see the damage to endothelial cells, right? It's endothelial cells. This what? It's a RBC. It's a RBC. And look here, the complete damage of the type 1 nemocytes. So, if you have any confusion, look and go back to the normal one. See, this is how the type 1 nemocytes should be there. They should be lining there. But what you're seeing is this complete absence of the type 1 nemocytes in the air sac. This air sac should have here type 1 nemocytes and again type 1 nemocytes, again type 1 nemocytes and everything has completely got damaged. So, it proves that the type 1 nemocytes completely got damaged and this whole layer, this whole thing is actually the pink colored halin being seen on this area. This HM is a halin membrane. Look at this HM. It's a halin membrane being seen in the air sacs. So this is a halin membrane, this is a halin membrane, and the type 1 nemocyte is completely gone. Not only that, the endothelial cells have also got damaged. So this type of cell should have been completely throughout this vessels, which is absent in this entire area. So before you look at this, you must be able to understand the normal histology and anatomy of the lung and leg. Following that, you should understand the pathophysiology and only then you will understand the EM image. I hope you like the video. If you really like the video, let me know in the comment box below and ensure you like this video to, and also spread this to your friends as well. Wishing you all the best. Let me know what else you want. I'll surely record it for you and give it to you in the best possible manner. Wishing you all the best. Take care and have a happy and a safe life. Bye-bye.